Hey guys, it's Maggie. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing another empties video. Can you believe it's yet again another time for more empties? Like, it's been a month. What? I'm hoping I'm not the only one who feels the same way, that like life is going by real fast right now. Before we get started, I want to let you guys know I have Minion Dave on my shirt right now. I was just feeling like showing Dave a little love. My last empties video was all about skincare products, so I wanted to make sure to incorporate some body, some makeup, some hair, and also skincare, of course, but it's kind of a mixture of things, so let's just get started. Let's start with a skincare item. This is the e.l.f. Daily Facial Cleanser, and to be honest with you, I wasn't that impressed. It was just a regular cleanser to me. Wasn't anything crazy. It was only $5, which was pretty good, but I personally would prefer to put those $5 toward like the Clean and Clear cleanser that I love or something like that, you know what I mean? It was just okay. It had a very strong like chemically smell, like very laundry detergent-esque, you know? So that wasn't that great, but I'm just not in love. I don't think I'd really recommend it. It was just meh, you know what I mean? I don't want my skincare products to be just meh. I want them to be like, oh yes. I feel so luxurious and purified. You know what I mean? Next up, I have two bottles of the Batiste Dry Shampoo or spray cans. <laughs> I have two scents of this. This is the Coconut and Exotic Tropical Scent, and this is just the original one. The tropical one was totally my fave. <sighs> just very beachy, almost sunscreeny esque. I really appreciate that. Now, I do like Batiste. I think they're a really good dry shampoo brand. Personally, they're not my top fave. Top Faye would have to go to Dove. I love Dove. This is like my second runner-up. So whenever Shoppers Drug Mart is out of Dove, I always go over to Batiste because I know it's good and it's, you know, will do the job, but it's not my top, top fave. But Dove, for some reason, people stock up on that shiz like no tomorrow, and I'm definitely one of those people, so I can't complain about that. Next up, I have the Simple Replenishing Rich Moisturizer. This is really good stuff. It's a really nice thin moisturizer. The smell wasn't the bomb. I'm just gonna let you know now. It's very no fragrance fragrance. I think you guys know what I'm trying to say here. I do think if you do have sensitive skin, you would really enjoy this. It feels very light on the skin, yet it still packs a good amount of moisture in. So I definitely recommend this stuff. It's really, really good. Next up, I have the Clean and Clear Night Relaxing All-in-One Wipes. I just have one pack of these. These were decent. I do like the Clean and Clear Wipes. They're okay. They're a little bit drier compared to like the simple ones which are like my top fave, but this one did smell very nice and calming and relaxing. I did like these, but I think I still like simple a little bit more, so I don't think I'll repurchase these. Next up, I have a makeup empty. This is the Jessie's Girl Liquid Eyeliner. This is one of my top favorite liners. I think it's my favorite one. It is amazing. It has a brush tip applicator, which is different from a felt tip, so I find brushes a little bit easier to work with, just personally. I did like this a lot. I got it in an Ipsy bag, so I don't really know where you can buy Jessie's Girl in Canada, even if you can buy Jessie's Girl in Canada, but I would definitely recommend it if you have Jessie's Girl around you. Next up, I have this Up and Up Baby Shampoo, and I love using baby shampoo to clean my makeup brushes. I have an entire video dedicated to that. I'll link it in the description box for you, but I just think baby shampoo is the best, and it's so cheap. I got this when Target was in Canada, is no longer here, so now I'm using the Life brand, but it was really nice stuff. You know, smells like babies, what can I say? And I would say if you're looking for an inexpensive way to clean your makeup brushes and sponges and stuff, you just can't go wrong with this. Next up, I have the Origins Checks and Balances Frothy Face Wash. I got this in like a little sample set around Christmas. It's a really good face wash and it smells really nice and clean and fresh. I really love the way it frothed up on my skin. And I just think if you have the extra cash and you're willing to try a new face cleanser, I would definitely recommend it. I really do want to repurchase it down the line. Next up, I have this L'Oreal Youth Code Pore Vanisher. This I have had for a long time. It took me a while to use it up, but I finally did. Personally, I, ugh, I like this stuff, but I didn't use it as skincare. I used it more as a primer or like blurring product, but I still think I enjoy the Benefit Pore Professional a little bit more. And also mine started to kind of separate weirdly near the end of this, so it wasn't the most pleasant to use. It also has a super strong floral smell, like whole. So if you are a little bit more sensitive to scents, I don't think I'd recommend it. It was okay, but I think there are much better products, even in the drugstore that are better than this. And this retails for like 20 bucks. I'm gonna, again, take those $20 and put towards something that I know I love. You know what I mean? Next, I have the St. Ives Even and Bright Pink Lemon and Mandarin Orange Body Wash. This, you know, I'm just not really in love with this stuff. You guys know from my previous empties videos that I am obsessed with the St. Ives body washes. So when I saw this recommended in somebody's favorites video, I don't really remember who it was, but I saw that and I was like, ooh, like an exfoliating body wash? That sounds great. 
It was just a little too much for my skin. The exfoliation wasn't super harsh or anything, but using that every day on your body, I just wasn't in love. Next up, I have this Evelyn Charles Daily Renewal Conditioner and Shampoo. These actually got as a sample from like an event that I went to from them over a year ago. <laughs> Maybe two years now. I think it's been two years. And you know what? These were okay. The smell was pretty nice. I can't place my finger on it, but it reminds me of something. These were decent, but I just didn't see anything crazy different about my hair after using them. I think I still prefer my mane and tail stuff. These are pretty expensive, so why would you spend the amount unless you absolutely love it, you know? Next up, I have three packs of these Kirkland Daily Facial Towelettes. These are all the 30 pack, so... I've had them for a while. I love these for taking off swatches, for taking off my face makeup. They're just the bomb and they're so inexpensive. I don't use them on my eyes because they do irritate my eyes, but as for face situations, they're really, really great. I'm definitely gonna repurchase those as well. Next up, I have the First Day Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. This is like, again, a sample size. I really like this stuff. It's a really, you know, intense, heavy duty moisturizer. I used this on my friend Jessie when I did her makeup for the Friend Zone episode, and it was really, really good for her because she had very dry skin at the time. I would definitely recommend this brand if you are someone with sensitive skin because the scents aren't crazy. It's just like, again, that no smell smell. Although I really did like this product, I personally think it's a little bit expensive and I wasn't absolutely like in love. I like it, but it's not an obsession that's crazy. So I'm probably not going to repurchase it, but if I do another sample size of it, of course, I'm going to use that and love it. Next up, I have this La Vanilla, the healthy body butter in the pure vanilla smell. Oh, I just love it. I used this up like two days ago and I was very, very sad about it. It's an amazing amazing product. It's so funny because I am taken back to a certain exact day every time I smell this and it's not like it was anything absolutely crazy what I did on that day but for some reason I just remember using this body butter for the first time. It was probably almost exactly a year ago today. My friend Lindsay and I were like hey you know what we should probably get used to facetiming each other because she was about to leave for university and we wanted to make sure we you know kept in touch and so we decided that we'd both you know make some tea and have some like food and chat and then we're like hey why don't we try watching our shows and see if it works out so we can watch them at the same time and see if we can you know facetime while we watch our shows together if that makes any sense and it was just a really nice relaxing afternoon and we had a great time and i remember eating all this amazing food that i had made for myself and i felt so like put together i don't even know why going back to the body butter I love this stuff. I will for sure be repurchasing it sometime down the line. Next up, I have a couple samples. These are both skincare products. This first one is the Sephora Instant Moisturizer. This I actually remember, you know, decently liking. I don't think I was obsessed with it. It wasn't anything crazy, um, but it was good for, you know, it did the job. I just don't think I'd repurchase it. And then the one that I have is the Fresh Lotus Youth Preserve Face Cream. And I do remember liking this. The smell was a little weird to me. It was very, like, plant-y, which I don't hate, but it's like... Ah, not in love with it. It was a decent face cream. Again, though, I don't think it was anything crazy. It's just kind of like, it did the job, but I'm not gonna repurchase it. Next up, I have a tube of the Clear Great Lash from Maybelline. I used this on my brows for a couple years, and you know what? It was pretty good. The only thing I'd have to say about this is I felt like it never kept my brows really in place, and I thought, you know what, at the time, no brow gel is gonna do that. Then I met the e.l.f. one, then I met the Essence one, and I'm like, well, you know, <laughs> I'm gonna go for those because they are more inexpensive, so I probably won't repurchase this one. Next, I have the EOS Hand Lotion. I love this stuff. I already have another one. This is the scent Berry Blossom. <gasps> Again, this brings me back to grade 11. I don't know why, it just does. <laughs> it smells really nice. I love how compact and cute and just easy to, this is to like put in your bag. I really like these hand lotions. Nothing like crazy thick or greasy. There's nice and thin. There's an on-the-go product that's really easy to use and I really love these hand lotions. Next up, I have a sample of the Vichy Calming Cleansing Micellar Solution. I love this stuff. It's so, so, so good. Again, my friend Heather gave this to me. She also gave me the, you know, larger size, so I'm good to go on my cellar water for a little while now, but I definitely recommend it. It just removes all your makeup, it doesn't feel, you know, stingy or irritating to the eyes in any way, and it's just really good stuff. Next up, I have the Nourish Organic Pure Hydrating Argan Face Serum. I got this in a Nipsey bag, and you know what? This was good stuff. It did feel very nourishing and hydrating on my skin. I personally don't use this as a serum because it's way too oily for that. Like, it is definitely a pure oil. 
I use it almost in place of like a hydration product. The only thing I didn't really love about it is that it, the packaging just sucks. Like who would put a face oil in a squeeze tube? Who like, no. Just no, this leaks everywhere and it wastes so much product. I don't know how it's actually packaged in real life, but that just kind of like turned me off of the product like right there, so yeah. I also have a perfume from Clinique. This is the Clinique Happy. I love this smell. It's really nice and like springy, fresh, florally with a lot of citrus. I just really like it. It's a very classic scent for Clinique, but I would definitely recommend this if you guys are looking for like a citrusy smell. Oh, it's really, really good stuff. I might repurchase it sometime in the future, but right now I have still a decent amount of perfumes and stuff. And lastly, we have a mascara. This is actually the cover of a clump crusher. You probably saw this coming. I love this stuff. It's one of the best pairing, I would almost call it like the surgeon mascara because it pretty much helps your lashes look so, so, so much better. Like if you have any mascara and you pair it with this, it's gonna look good. That's all I have to say. Such a good formula. The brush has like a nice spoon action to it and it is a like plastic bristle brush. I just really love this stuff. It's really great as well by itself to give you really nice like wispy, fluttery lashes and yeah, I love it. I'll definitely repurchase it sometime in the future. So that concludes this huge, very long empties video. Sorry about the length. Probably most of you have departed from this video. But to those of you who have stuck around this entire time, thank you so much. You're a true homie. If you did enjoy this video, give it a huge thumbs up. It would really help me out. Also, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Come and join the Miss Glitz 98 family. I have so many exciting videos coming up. I just can't wait. If you want to keep up with me on social media, I have Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. All my links are in the description box. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye!